Hi and welcome to MIG. Today I'm going to show you how to comb out a herringbone set. This falls under the category of a directional set and it's set in a herringbone fashion. The first thing you want to do is take out your pins and then we're going to be taking out our rollers after this. We've used a green roller which is the largest of the classic setting rollers as we're dealing with longer length hair and we're aiming for more of a wave rather than a very strong curl. You can see the front has like a little fan direction and then the rest is all rolled in a herringbone section. Herringbone is very popular if your client just wants a really nice strong wave and lots of volume. So as you're taking the rollers out, just making sure that you're placing the hair in its correct position and checking that each individual roller is nice and dry. We're going to be performing a very classic comb up. So this is lots of back combing at the roots and then dressing the ends out. So we're going to first relax the set using a paddle brush, making sure we're combing from roots to ends and we're following the direction that the rollers have been put in. This will dress out any leftover product build up and it'll also make the hair nice and smooth and ready for its back combing. So you can see it's being combed in the direction that the hair was set. So we're going from side to side. If you've done a beautiful set, you wouldn't really need to spend too much time on the comb up. However, the better the comb up, the longer it's going to last. So starting at the front, we're doing some classic back combing through the roots following the setting pattern that we used. Try and grab two sections together and join them. We're using a plastic ended tail comb as this gives us the best kind of result. You can see we're getting lots of volume. That's what we want. Don't be frightened of volume. You can always remove volume. So we're coming from the front all the way down the back and putting lots of back combing and bedding into that root area. Then we're going to dress it out. We're going to smooth it and make sure it looks polished and pristine. So using the comb to just smooth out the ends and then just the end of the tail comb just to dress it out and place it. This is very visual and it does require practice to make sure it's perfect. Each salon will have its own time frame for how long you spend on a comb up and the better you get at it, the quicker you get. So trying to keep as much volume as possible, especially around the crown and the top of the hair, not so much at the back, but you want to make sure that you've got that lovely round shape going on. Using your hands and your fingers to spread the hair out will always help as well. So once you come to the front, then you're just going to place the hair how you want it to sit. You should always set the hair how you want it to sit. If you're setting it in an opposite direction and then trying to comb it down, it won't work for you. So as you can see, we had the little fan going on. So it's just going to come around the side and scoop and then give us that lovely little curl that's coming just above our eyebrow. You can see it's now creating some beautiful volume. So we're not going to have any spaces or sparseness. It's just going to look big and full. And this will last the client a long time too. Adding hairspray once you're starting to be happy with your shape. 
hairspray basically just finishes and holds and it makes sure it won't get blown away. It will also secure any fluffy hairs that are playing around. Now we're just putting the finishing touches on, just making sure it looks perfect and even and balanced. And that's the herringbone set. Thanks for watching.